I support small businesses. But if you have to sell a product based on lies, manipulation, gaslighting, hypocrisy, just being a complete vile person, was it worth it? Like she could possibly go to jail for this. Was it worth it? Hey kids, welcome to my channel. I'm your Uncle Hope and today's topic is pink sauce. Now, if you don't know what pink sauce is like I did in two days ago, you either A, aren't on TikTok because you have a life or B, have a life so you aren't on TikTok. But this pink sauce debacle is literally the epitome of hype sales. Created by Chef Pie, emphasis on pie, this sauce started being promoted around June and she uploaded various different videos of her trying the pink sauce on different types of food, notably the chicken tender. And when I first seen it, it reminded me of Ed from Good Burger when he was in the strawberry jacuzzi. Strawberry jacuzzi! Ah. This sauce started to blow up everywhere, largely because people could not or would not describe how it tastes. Some people said it tastes like sweet ranch. Some people said it tastes like mayo. Some people said it tastes kind of desserty. Mm -hmm. sweet. But around June, she actually ended up coming out with the recipe, partly coming out with the recipe, honey, raw garlic, and chili. Oh yeah, and I forgot sunflower seed oil, which does not sound appetizing at all to put on any type of food, honestly. The controversy and conspiracy theories surrounding this sauce is wild. So wild that the FDA had to step in and is now doing a full-blown investigation. I mean, honestly, it was only a matter of time. The first problem that some of the creators started talking about was how mislabeled the nutrition labels were. 440 servings, even though it's supposed to be 440 grams. That same creator also said that there wasn't enough preservatives to keep the sauce edible for a long period of time. And also the label didn't say that you needed to refrigerate it, which is like basic stuff that the FDA wants from homemade products so that people will be safe while eating these products. People who bought the sauce said that it exploded inside the packaging, while others are saying that the sauce arrived spoiled. There isn't an expiration date on the bottle, apparently. And probably the most prominent problem is that all the sauces look different. I mean, I've seen some sauces that look like a light salmon peachy color, and some look like a Barbie hot pink fucking color. Like that's such a huge change in color. You get it? All right. And the kicker of this sauce, primarily why the FDA stepped in, is because that this sauce can and is making people sick. Apparently the main concern is that you get botulism. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Botulism is a rare but very serious illness caused by a toxin that attacks the body's nerves and causes difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, and even death. Food botulism is apparently caused when homemade products are not preserved, canned, or fer uh, fermented properly. Like, huh? I don't know how factual that this sauce is making people sick because some guy literally faked his entire dev. It's dev. Uh, so I'm not dead. So first and foremost, I want to say sorry if I scared y'all. I mean, that was my intent, but like not like this. Uh, second off, I want to say to Chef P, sorry if this scared you at all or impacted your business in any way. That was never my intent. The opposite, actually. Um, this was meant to be a full social experiment to see how quickly other people could spread misinformation. I love how he basically said, I know I faked my death, but I did it to see how other people would react. Like, no, sir, you did it because of clout. You did it because... This sauce is insanely popular. Like, so before I get into the real reason why I wanted to make this video, I wanna talk about the shipping price. The sauce itself costs $20, which is insane for a sauce, a single sauce that you don't even know about. But that's not the problem. The problem is that apparently the shipping is $13 to $30, which means that some of y'all are paying $33 to $50 for one sauce. Why would you pay that much for a sauce? 
I can't, I can't think about this for too long because I'm going to get a brain aneurysm. The real reason why I made this video is because of the response that she has had to the rightfully earned criticism and backlash. One of the first videos she made apologizing about the sauce was about the mislabeling of the nutrition label, that it's FDA safe and FDA approved, and that they're changing things and that they're getting shit together, which is not bad. That's a, a good way to go about it. But she ended up deleting the video. So what was the point of making it if you were just gonna delete it? In an interview that she did at Washington Post, she said that she will not reveal the secrets to her songs and that she would not be bullied into it which rightfully so the problem with that is this sauce is so mysterious that a lot of people aren't asking for the ingredients so that they can replicate it, but to see if you're not just selling them a food coloring mayo, like, <laughs> or that it's actually safe. Like people just want to know what they buy. Customers started receiving their sauces around July the 1st. That's when the shipping started. And when this article was made on July the 29th, she sold about 700 bottles, but only shipped out 200 because she is testing the product. Even though she couldn't tell what lab she was testing it in and what kind of test she was doing because of legal issues. I mean, she literally said in this interview, we did not test the product before we shipped it. After that, she says that it's okay to not refrigerate until you use it. Like, how do you know you didn't test it? And lastly, I stumbled onto a TikTok live on YouTube. I don't know if it got deleted, probably did. And it really left a bad taste in my mouth about her and how she responds to criticism because there's so much hypocrisy and lies in this video, it makes no sense. Raw garlic inside of the pink sauce. The pink sauce contains zero raw garlic ingredient. Wait, what? There's a video, she took it down, I think. If I could find it, I'll put it here, where she literally says that one of the ingredients is raw, garlic even in articles that she has done with people she said that there's raw garlic in there so either you are lying then or you're lying now either way you're lying another thing she says in this video is that she's going to start suing people for false information there will be legal action taken against anyone posting false information about the pink sauce. Sweetheart, we live in America. The freedom of press is a real thing. And you can't really, like, that's why a lot of defamation cases go unsolved or are just dropped because it's so hard in America for someone to quote unquote be caught slandering your name. She also says that there's no milk, but then literally contradicts herself and said that there's dry milk. No, it does not have milk. It has less than 2% of dry milk. I don't know if dry milk and regular milk like act differently, but it's still milk. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. I never said that. Did I? Like... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's called FDA. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Food and Drug Administration. She's a chef. Is she a, like a licensed chef? What the, like, oh my god. Does she even know what FDA means? Oh my God. And this folks is why I say that this product, this entire situation is the epitome of hype sales. People wanted to try a cool or popular product because the actual influence who made the product or influencers who were sent or paid to review the product are hyping it up even though there is little to no type of information on this product. 
even if there is, it's either a lie or mislabeled. Like, this product is sold out. I don't know if that's pre-orders, but this product is sold out. You cannot, if you go to her website, you cannot buy this product. But she sold 700 products, 700 sauces. I don't understand. I hope that she gets everything she deserves if she's really out here causing potential harm on people. Like, I support small businesses, especially women and especially people of color because it's harder for us but if you have to sell a product based on lies manipulation gaslighting hypocrisy just being a complete vile person was it worth it like she could possibly go to jail for this was it worth it all right guys i'm done if you have any type of suggestion any type of video you want me to talk about any type of topic you want me to look into let me know in the descriptions down below. Make sure you subscribe, like, do all that YouTuber stuff. Follow me on my social medias. I'm your Uncle Hope. Make sure you brush your teeth. Do not eat this pink sauce. And I'm out. Peace.